Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. In the first part, I have told you about how we can make a simple diagram by using PowerPoint. Link of the video is given in the description box. And in this part, I will show you how to add animation to the diagram which we have already prepared in the first part by using PowerPoint. This video is also available in Hindi explanation. Again, link is available in the description box. So let's start. If you are a student or a teacher or a research scholar or any other field you belong, you can simply make this diagram by your own and use it. If you are a student, then you can include it in your project work like B form and M form project or if you are a teacher, you can make notes by preparing and using this diagram for your student and if you are a research scholar and if you want to publish your project work, your research or review work, then you can make your own diagram by using PowerPoint because in this case, you cannot use online diagram means the diagram downloaded from the web or copied from any other sources. So, for all this, you can easily prepare diagram by using the PowerPoint. And after preparing the diagram by using PowerPoint, you can easily explain this diagram by step by step process through the animation so that they can easily understand it, know about its concept or if you are a teacher, then you can explain any topic easily by making this type of diagram plus animation just like our video in which other than whiteboard videos, we can also explain the topic by doing voiceover on the diagram plus animation type of video which we have prepared by using PowerPoint. Means just like making diagram in the PowerPoint, adding animation is also not so tough. It is easy, just you have to follow few steps. So. First step is to prepare rough diagram on paper of your interest just like this. I have prepared here the diagram of autoclave. Here you can see I have drawn this diagram by using blue pen and before adding animation to this diagram it is very important that you should clear about what is your sequence means the sequence of different parts or the objects or you can say the part of the diagram in which sequence you want to select to show in your animation to appear or disappear means according to the sequence in which the different part of the diagram appear and disappear on the screen and according to this sequence you have to add the animation for example if you want to first show the body of the autoclave on the screen but the first cap appear on the slide due to adding wrong animation or you can say wrong sequence of the animation. So this will not justify your diagram. So after making diagram on the paper then mark and label the sequence on the this rough diagram so that which part of this image should appear first and then next which part and then next. Here I have labeled the different parts of the autoclave as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This number is the sequence in which we want the object to be appear on the PowerPoint. So after making rough diagram on the paper and adding sequence to that diagram, then next open the PowerPoint diagram. This diagram which we have prepared in the first part. So let's start to add animation on this diagram. So first, according to the sequence, we have to add animation to this tabletop or you can say stage on which the autoclave is placed. So first of all, click on the stage to select it and then click on the animation option on the top. After this, you can see many options like appear, fade, fly in, float in, slip, wipe, shape and many other options. From this point, if you click in this point, you can see so many options inside it. First is the entrance section. By choosing any one of these different options in the entrance section, the object will enter in the different way by choosing different option. Next is the emphasis to add the special effects to the selected part. And if you want to show the part of the object of your diagram to move out from the slide or you can say exit from the slide in the different way then you can do it by choosing different exit option. So according to your need you have to choose the option. So here I want to show the entrance of this stage. So for this I will choose any one option from the entrance section. So here I have click on the wipe option then click here on the slide. 
you can see how only this stage will appear on the slide you can also choose or you can say select the direction from which the object will appear by using this effect option click on this effect option from here you can select the direction of your animation from bottom to top from left to right from right to left from top to bottom here i am selecting from left click on it now you can see this table top means the stage appear from left to right so here we have added animation to this stage you can also change the speed if you want to slow it you can increase the timing in delay means by increasing the delay time the object movement will be slowed down so here we have added animation to the first part according to the sequence of the diagram next second is the main body of the autoclave according to the sequence for this select the body of the autoclave on the slide after this i have to add animation and here i want that this part comes means enter into the slide from top to bottom and i am selecting one of the option from the entrance and here it is moving from the bottom so to change it means move down so for this go to effect option click on it then click on the float down now you can see the body appear from top to bottom style now so next third according to the sequence i want to show the entrance of the water so again come to the slide click on the water here i want to add animation in the water so that it looks like water is filling inside the autoclave means i want that water will appear from bottom to top so for this click on the wipe option of entrance section and then go to the effect option and if we click from top then it will move from top to down but we want from bottom to top so click on from bottom so now you can see water entrance is like water is filling inside the autoclave so till now i have added animation to the table top body of the autoclave and water next is the turn of adding animation to the tray on which the objects are kept according to our sequence but here we want that tray appear on the screen along with its stand here you can see two stands so we have to animate the tray along with its two stand so for this click on the tray then press control on the keyboard and then select means click on one stand and then click on the second stand means we have selected the tray and both the stand then after this click on floating in the animation section and in the effect option click from top option now you can see that through the animation it looks like that we are placing stray with stand inside the autoclave next we have to add animation to the objects one by one so that it will appear one by one on the screen so for this first select the conical flask and i want that this conical flask will appear like that it is coming from the top to bottom so select the floating option then click on the from top option in the effect and now you can see conical flask coming from top on the tray inside the autoclave next is the turn of beaker repeat the same steps for beaker and the scissors means select the object click on the floating and then select from top option now we have added animation to the objects placed on the tray next is the turn of heater according to our sequence so this is our heater select all the part of heater by using control option on the keyboard and then you can choose any one of the option from the animation like you can choose use wipe option it will appear like this then if you choose from right or from left to right then it will show like this if we choose appear option then it will appear like this and then click on the wire select any options i am selecting wipe option here and then choose effect option from right so that wire look like it is coming out from the coil means heater 
Now next we have to add animation to the cover of the autoclave. For this select the dome shape cover of the autoclave. Click on the float in and click it from top. Now you can see our autoclave is covered by the cap by this way. Now we have to add animation to the whistle. For this select the whistle means click on it. Then then you can select the appear option from the animation or you can select the wipe option according to you as you want you can select any option next we animate the safety wall select it and then click on the appear option on the top now we have to add animation to the pressure gauge select the base of the pressure gauge click wipe or any other option you want and then click on the meter means click the circle and next i am choosing the appear option and then next click arrow Again choose any options, you can click wipe option, select from left to right option. Now finally we have added animation to every part of the autoclave. Then next go to the option below on the right side corner that is the slide show mode. Now you can see the screen is blank, not a single part of the autoclave is appeared on the screen. It means all the part of the autoclave is animated, not a single part is left for the animation means if any one of the part of the autoclave is not animated it will show on the screen from the beginning as when we go to the slideshow mode now here you can see only labels are appearing on the screen because we have not added animation to this label now next our task is to add animation to the label so if we want to explain simultaneously your part of the diagram with label then what we have to do what will be your sequence for this you have to add animation to the label just after adding animation to that part means just after adding animation to that part then you have to add animation to the label of that part and do the same for other parts but here i want that label will appear in the last so for this first click on any one of the label if you want to appear first here I am selecting label of the object to be sterilized. So for this first click any one of the label you want to appear first. Here I am selecting label of object to be sterilized. So here first select arrow and then text box of the object to be sterilized by using control option on the keyboard and then go to the animation. Click and then you can select appear or wipe option this will appear like this and thus select affect option from left to right now the label appear from left to right here i am using different different options of animation for the label like select the label of water click appear next click hitting coil label next tray for the object text box select both arrow and the text box and then select appear option and then autoclave cover choose appear option and then next select safety wall label then click appear option and then pressure gauge then click appear option here you can see when the object will be animated the number sequence will appear you can see here next click on the slideshow or you can say presentation mode click on it now you can see the slide means screen is completely empty means blank and this is only our watermark presentation is completely empty means blank means all the part of the autoclave label of the autoclave are animated now to show the objects one by one so for this click on the mouse or click on the down arrow button on the keyboard then one by one objects will appear on the screen according to our sequence in which we have added animation. Now on the first click you can see first tabletop appear on the screen because we have first added animation to this part. And next on the second click body of the autoclave appear from the top and placed on the table. Next click water fill inside the autoclave according to our added animation option. And then on the next click tray with a stand will appear and then on the next click one by one the objects enter from the top on the top of the tree. Next according to the sequence we have added 
animation to the heater and then coil so the sequence of adding animation to each part of the diagram is very important and we have to add the animation to each part very carefully and that's why i have told you before adding animation decide and roughly write the sequence in the number the order in which you want that each part will appear on the screen and then we have added animation to the cover uh, so on the next click cover will appear on the top on the next uh, safety wall and the pressure gauge all the objects appear according to the sequence in which we have added animation to each part when i press the down arrow on the keyboard or click on the mouse next after the parts of the diagram uh, the level of each parts will appear here i have added wipe option to the object to be sterilized label that's why it's appearing like this but in the water and the other level i have used appear option that's why it is appearing directly on the screen and just like this the label of the heating coil uh, next the tray for the object so this is how we can add animation to the each part of the diagram which we have already prepared by using powerpoint thank you very much for watching this video